man's search for fulfillment is beyond ordinary human efforts. At Triumphant Church International, the eyes of your understanding become open to the link between your dreams, earthly realities, and achievements. Our mission is to restore you to your full potential in Christ and inculcate a lifestyle of prayer, outreach, and intimate relationship with God. Triumphant Church International has her headquarters at Tottenham in London, with branches in England and Africa. At Triumphant Church International, you experience God's anointing, strong pastoral care, revelatory biblical teachings, unconditional love from the pastoral team and all members. Senior Pastors Clem and Marjorie Asomawe, Trustees, Ministerial Team, Leaders, Workers, and Entire Membership welcome you to Triumphant Church International. We are excited about your fellowship, which is a tremendous blessing to us, and we know you shall definitely be blessed and fired up as you fellowship with us at Triumphant Church International. Your breakthrough is our joy. During these perilous times, we need spiritual, physical, psychological, marital, and financial healing. This Sunday, 31st October 2021, let healing flow. Guest Minister, Pastor Samuel Orsergay of Believers Ministry, Inc., Benin City, Nigeria. One of the largest ministries in the city. He is greatly used of God in the area of healing. Come with your families and invite your friends to worship with us on site to receive healing from God through a man of God anointed to heal all forms of issues. Time and date, 11 a.m. BST, Sunday, 31st October, 2021. Call 0208-800-6001 for further information or email admin at triumphant.org.uk. Let healing flow. Yeah. 
Oh! 
just love A promise still stands Great is your faithfulness Faithfulness I'm still in your way This is my confidence You never Reason why. I'm the reason why you came to die. I praise you. I praise you. <laughs> Your matchless love. Come on. I can't compare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, Jesus I love you. Oh my God. With all of my heart. Sing it together on your butt. Have to sing it a moment. Say, come on. Jesus, I love you. Yeah. With all of my heart I adore you I adore you Say I'm the reason why You came to die I praise you I praise you Sing it out, say Your matchless love Come on I can't compare Yeah, yeah, yeah Jesus Jesus, I love you Come on With all of Sing it one 
one more time. Sing it one more time. Sing it one more time. Say it up. Jesus, I love you. Hey. With all of my heart. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I'm the reason why. I'm To preach the song with all. With all of my heart. Oh, I'm resting. I rest in your love. I'm resting in your love. I am resting in your love. In the shelter of your love. Song. His name is Yah. Sing it. Do you know what Yah means? You are the highest. Generation. You are highest. Yah. Okay, let's go. Generation after generation. Keep praising you. Yet no one stops you.
and I am trusting that somebody shall be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen and amen. I want to bring you all greetings again, everyone that is joining us from wherever you're watching from. Some of you are joining from North America, South America, everywhere from Europe, Africa, and of course, the United Kingdom. God bless you for joining. Amen and amen. I know that the Holy Spirit is here. He's right here in our midst and he will do what he is good at doing tonight once more. Amen. Please do me a favor. Can you get your family together? Don't forget that a family that prays together sticks together. Get your family together and if you may, can you please uh, share the link and invite somebody to prayer meeting tonight? That person will be blessed and you will be blessed as well in the name of Jesus. Don't watch alone. I will give us a minute, hallelujah, to invite somebody in. Praise God, hallelujah. I'll give us a moment to invite somebody in. Amen. To bring a friend, share it somewhere so that somebody else can join. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Do please invite a friend. I'll give you one moment to invite a friend and a family member. It's that time when we want to pray. Tonight is victory night. It is a night of your victory, a night when God will do great and mighty things in your life. Hallelujah. So get somebody, please, into the platform. And in one minute or so, we will begin to go into the word and get to pray. Please make sure that you are settled and you're not, you know, doing something somewhere during the prayer time. When we do that, I tell you, it's dishonor to God. We're actually dishonoring God. You see, when you're with the queen or the king, you, you won't be doing so many times. And tonight we're with our king. We are with God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'll give us one more minute to get ourselves ready to share the link and we will begin. Amen. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are welcome to the prayer service. Amen. Please take a moment and bring in a friend and family member. Share the link. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, you might just want to take one minute to subscribe to the YouTube page. Amen. I see our senior pastor. I see Pastor Clem. Welcome, Pastor Clem. Amen. He's uh, giving me the podium today. So I'm here on his behalf. Amen. Only good to see you. Praise the Lord. And if you haven't liked our Facebook page, it's uh, just one minute. Help us to like the Facebook page so that whatever we are online, you will be able to know and you can join us. There's a lot happening on this page. Amen. On the Triumphant Church International page. Praise God. Thank you, Jessica. I see you all the way from the United States. Thank you, my daughter, for joining God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. So good to see you. Thank you, Jessica. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we thank you and we bless you. We worship you. We adore you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Honor, dominion, and majesty be ascribed to you. Our Father, we thank you because this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice in this day. We will be glad and rejoice tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for open heavens. We thank you because the heavens are open over us tonight. You will hear our cry. You will answer our prayer. Oh God, your name shall be exalted above every other name tonight. We hold to ransom every power that would want to interfere in this service. Powers of witchcraft, we hold you to ransom in the name of Jesus. Powers of sorcery, we hold you to ransom in the name of Jesus. Powers of darkness, we hold you to ransom in the name of Jesus. You will not interfere in this service. You will not interfere in what God is about to do tonight, you will not interfere in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bind the spirits of darkness. Now, if you're watching and you are filled with the spirit of God, can you just take a moment and pray in tongues? Maybe you are not aware. Let me tell you, October is a season when witches and wizards feel that the atmosphere is clear for them. I was listening to somebody recently and she said they believe that October is like what we feel when Christmas is coming. And so I want you to clear the atmosphere. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. There shall be no evil interference in this service. Le koba bashata mama mama. Ne kelebro hantos ke palianos. Ne gezunta la da 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 sumbre heres.
Yekosiki kabori akataya mama mama. Shente tele mahis kalebra handos. Yegozoka kapa ruse kebre edos. Ne kaina kiba shuta la da da da. Yekoseke parida ruta libra hados. Yekori kaba shude de 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 de. Ne kaina zumbra handos. Ne ke parikatoria. Yekoseke ke pariakatale mahinda rubashea. We bless you, God. We soak the atmosphere in the blood blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus even from this home into every home, into every house, every corner where some people are watching from the office, wherever you are in your car, we plead the blood of Jesus. We stifle and completely suffocate every power of darkness in the name of Jesus. We apply the precious blood, the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Thank you, Jehovah Shammah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and believed. Somebody say amen and amen. Once again, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Do us a favor. Invite your friend into this prayer service. There might be somebody that you know that needs to be a part of this service. Please call on them. Share the link with them. You know, invite them on YouTube, hallelujah, and on Facebook. I tell you, they will be grateful that you brought them into the platform. And God Almighty, he will bless you and bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, we are following up with, with the teaching from Wednesday. If you were not part of the service on Wednesday, I really want to admonish you to find time tonight and watch the teaching on uh, uh, um, the teaching on altars of anger. It will help you to follow up on our prayer meeting tonight. Praise God! So we are just following through with that. This is like part two, if you may say, Amen. Praise the Lord. I will kind of do a recap on Wednesday very briefly, amen, so that we can remember and we can connect to this. On Wednesday, one of the key things that we said is, what is an altar? What is an altar? And we came to the conclusion that an altar is the place where spirits or deities or gods meet with human beings. So that is where deities meet with human beings. Praise God. Nothing in the realm of the spirit happens outside of altars. Why don't you say that with me so that you would always remember it? Nothing in the realm of the spirit happens outside of altars. Amen. Because the spirit world is really the connection between spirits and human beings. So altars were originated by God. And so that's why you find people like Abraham. We read in Genesis chapter 8 from verse 19 to 21. We read how Abraham, you know, built altars. Amen. We read how Abraham built altars. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We read how Jacob built altars. We read how Noah, sorry, Noah built altars in, in uh, Genesis chapter 8. Praise God that uh, Abraham built in Genesis 18. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he built so many altars. And Jesus himself in Matthew chapter 5 made reference to altars. So it is a God thing. Amen. But the devil, as you know, is always a counterfeit. He would always counterfeit whatever God is doing. Praise God. He would want to counterfeit it. And that's why witches meet with their spirits in altars. And we call their altars shrines. We call their altars uh, um, covens. That's where they meet with their demonic masters and Satan, their master. So nothing in the realm of the spirit happens outside of altars. We must understand that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, going further. We said that altars can be built anywhere. Praise God. 
We agree that they can be built under the sea, under the water, anywhere. And that's how we came to the conclusion of altars of anger. <clears throat> Those are altars that are built in the heart of men in the heart of people and we pulled those, down those altars and we agreed on Wednesday that it is something that you must do consistently because just, uh, you know, people are always building altars. But today we are coming from a different angle. I want you to please go with me to 1 Kings chapter 13. Amen. 1 Kings chapter 13. Praise God. If God is already blessing you, I want to see you type an amen on that chart. Type an amen so that that amen rings in the atmosphere. That amen rings in the atmosphere. Glory, hallelujah. I want to hear your amen. Shout it where you are and also type it here. Glory to Jesus. Amen and amen. God is about to touch somebody's life. God is about to do something in somebody's life. God is about to do a miracle in somebody's life. Mwaka, you are blessed. Thank you for joining Triumphant Church International today in the service. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget to tell a friend that you are watching and you are part of the service. They can join. Amen. So let's go to 1 Kings chapter 13. I want you to please pick up your Bible. Amen. We're going to start praying shortly, but I want to just uh, uh, admonish us from God's word. Hallelujah. The Bible says in first, uh, um, okay, let's take it from Let's take it from the previous chapter, chapter chapter 12, and take it from 32, chapter 12, verse 32. Amen. Jeroboam, there's a lot of scriptures to read. Jeroboam ordained a feast on the 15th day of the eighth month, like the feast that was in Judah, and offered sacrifices on the altar. So he did at Bethel, sacrificing to the calves that he had made. And at Bethel, he installed the priests of the high places which he had made. And so he made offerings on the altar which he had made at Bethel in the 15th day of the eighth month, in the month which he had devised, oh my God, in his own heart. And he ordained a feast for the children of Israel and offered sacrifices on the altar and burnt incense. Now, let me give you a bit of a background because it's important that you understand the background. When you read from 1 Kings chapter 12 and verse 32, you read how Jeroboam made altars. Amen. And the Bible says he was replicating the kind of altars that they had in, uh, in, in Judah. And I will explain why I'm going there. He replicated. Remember what I said that the devil is a counterfeiter. Amen. So he replicated. He counterfeited the kind of altars that they had in Judah. He had to build it. Amen. And began to offer sacrifices there. As a matter of fact, he installed priests there as well, who would be helping him in his sacrifice. Now, let me take you through a bit of history so that you would know who Jeroboam is. And then you would be, you know, you would really understand the story. Amen. Jeroboam was a servant of, of Solomon. He was a very faithful servant of King Solomon. Amen. And um, when King Solomon died, Please pay attention to this. It will help you. It's background history, but it will help you to flow as we pray. Now, when King Solomon died, his son Rehoboam took over. Rehoboam took over. And when Rehoboam took over, the people, the elders of the nation came to him and said, you know what? When your father was around, we were under so much tasks. He, the tax was cumbersome. You can imagine, you know, Solomon did a lot of projects. So there was a lot of tax. Praise God. And so they said the taxing was too much. Can you reduce the tax burden? And so he said, I'll come back to you. So Rehoboam, Re, not J, not Jeroboam, Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, went to his friends to seek counsel. 
And the friend said, go and tell them that your father whipped them with ordinary whip, but that you will whip them with scorpions, scorpion tails, which means that you will increase the, the uh, you will increase the, uh, uh, um, the tax. And so the elders, when they came to him for feedback, and he told them that his own regime, he will hit them with scorpion tail. The people now said, to your tents, O Israel. That's how that statement came. And so Israel became divided. Somebody say Israel became divided. What I'm telling you will help you to understand where we are going. So you need to listen. Praise God. So Israel became divided. And don't forget that God had already said that the scepter will never ever depart from Judah. The scepter will never leave Judah. But because of the sin and the provocation of Rehoboam, the scepter departed from Judah. And so the kingdom became divided. Now we, be, we had the, 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 the 10 tribes went one way and two tribes went one way. So Solomon's son only had two tribes. Can you imagine? This is the family that God has said the scepter will never divide. May God, in, in the name of Jesus, enable your family, enable you never to take decision that will break the, the, the plan of God for your life. Amen. And so the kingdom became divided and then two followed Solomon's son and ten tribes followed the servant of, of Solomon. That is Jeroboam. Now you know who Jeroboam is. Now Jeroboam, when he now got these other kingdoms, country, uh, tribes, ten tribes, forgot how he got there. For goodness sake, he was only a servant. And God lifted him up, lift up your hands and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I would never ever be lifted above the plan of God for my life. In Jesus' name, he became proud. He became so proud that he now said, he devised a plan and said, I don't want the people to go and worship in Jerusalem anymore. Because he said, if they go, their heart will be turned towards Rehoboam. Which is what many people do. Praise God, but that's not our lesson for today. So we need to be careful about our heart. Amen. Because when we are not careful, we begin to erect altars that God will cry against. Amen, somebody. Praise God. And so the Bible says that Reho Jeroboam went and built altars. And he began to build altars. He even had priests that will serve in those altars. May God have mercy in Jesus' name. He had priests. Amen. And he said he built a replica, a replica of what they have in Judah. And so, like I said on Wednesday, you have to be careful about every altar you go near. You need to ask God. This was a replica. It looked like the real thing, but it was not. Now that you have that background story, let us go to 1 Kings chapter 13. Praise God. Are you with your Bible? Say yes if you're with your Bible. Say amen there. Praise God that you have your Bible. Glory. Because we want to read this together. We want to pray from the same page. Glory to Jesus. Amen. And behold, verse 13, 1 Kings chapter 13 from verse 1. And behold, a man of God went from Judah to Bethel by the word of the Lord. And Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. Now, you understand why I had to go backward a bit. So this man of God now came from uh, Judah, from the other two tribes. God sent him and he said, go to Bethel. And go and prophesy against that evil altar. That is what you will do tonight. Somebody say, I will prophesy against every evil altar. Shout amen. And so he went to 
Judah to from Judah to Bethel by the word of the Lord when he got there Jeroboam was already standing by that his evil altar then verse 2 this man of God cried out against the altar by the word of the Lord somebody say cry out against the altar by the word of the Lord hallelujah say cry out against the altar say cry out against the evil altar Say, cry out against the evil altar. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are crying out today against the evil altars. Can I hear an amen? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so this young man of God went to, Ju to Bethel. And the Bible says, God told him, go there and cry out against the evil altar. Amen. By the word of the Lord. Praise God. Verse 2. And then the man of God said, oh, altar, altar. He spoke to it. Somebody said, altars have a, uh, they have an ear. Altars hear. <laughs> when you cry out against them, they hear. Mande kori ba 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 ba. Every evil altar that we cry against tonight, it will hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Altars here. And so God said, when you get there, cry out, call it by name. Say, altar, O oh altar, hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. And say, thus saith the Lord. I see you, Edith. Welcome, my daughter, all the way from Uganda. God bless you. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. May God bless you tonight. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Altar, O oh altar, thus saith the Lord. Behold a child. Now he's prophesying. Let's listen. Behold a child, Josiah by name. Josiah was not yet born. Praise God. Josiah was not yet born, but he prophesied. He said, Josiah will be born. You, know, you, you remember Josiah is the young boy who became a king at the age of eight. So the, the, the man of God is prophesying that Josiah will pull down that altar. Amen. By name shall be born to the house of David. And on this altar, he will sacrifice the priests of the high places who burn incense on you, and men's bones shall be burnt on you. Now, let me pause for a second. The young prophet said to, to, to the altar, he said, on this altar, when Josiah is born, he will destroy the bones of all those priests that Jeroboam has, uh, has uh, employed. And so many times, a lot of us, when we prophesy against altars, we don't prophesy against the priests. Do you know why you need to prophesy against those that are working in those altars? The reason is because when you prophesy against them, they would not be able to rebuild the altar. If you say you are merciful against them, I always say you cannot be more merciful than God. God said, do not allow the witch to live. I repeat what I said some weeks ago. There is no category of persons that God said we must not allow to live. And tonight we're not praying for people to die. The word of God will take its course by itself. Amen. Only witches and wizards, God said to you and me, don't allow them to live. If God said don't allow them to live, that means they are dangerous to you. So if you're hearing any doctrine, don't bind witches, don't bind wizards, you are hearing error because we must bind them. God said don't allow them to live because if you let them give them an inch, they will finish you. But I prophesy in the name of Jesus that the power of witchcraft and sorcery, it will never Touch your family when they come as a flood. The Spirit of God will lift up a standard against the flood of witches and wizards. Somebody shout amen. Praise God. So the, the, the young prophet, we don't have his name. And anytime we don't have the name of a prophet or somebody, man of God or woman of God, what God is saying is that you can put your name there. Glory, hallelujah. 
And tonight, don't be afraid. When we start praying, pray with all your heart. He said they will burn the bones of those priests that are walking in those altars. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he said, and he, shall, and he gave a sign the same day, saying, this is the sign which the Lord has spoken. He said, this will be another sign. The altar will, in that altar, they will burn the bones of those priests. And those priestesses, let me emphasize, because when we say priests, we think it's only men. Priests and priestesses, in the same way, the bones of every priest and priestess that is serving on altars where they are holding your family and manipulating your destiny and manipulating the destiny of Triumphant Church International. In the same way, their bones will be burned in those altars as we cry, altar, O oh altar, in the name of Jesus. He said there will be another sign. Glory, hallelujah. He said, surely the altar will split apart. Hey, I love God. Makotaya mama. Our God is powerful. He does not only split the Red Sea. The Bible says he will split also mm. the altar. Get ready every altar where they are calling your name. Altars of magicians. Altars of occultists. Altars of sorcerers. Altars of, of witches and wizards. Their altars will split tonight and break apart, shatter in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, type amen. Type a loud amen where you are. Don't forget to invite a friend and a family who needs healing. Somebody who needs their breakthrough. Don't forget to bring them onto this platform. Hallelujah. He said it to be a sign. Listen. And he said the ashes on it shall be poured out. It will burn to ashes. If you believe it, shout amen. And so it came to pass, listen to this, when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God, who was crying against the altar. You remember Jeroboam? For those of you who have just come in, Jeroboam is the one that took 10 tribes and gave Solomon's son two tribes. So, son, um, Pharrell, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Mariama, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining the prayer meeting. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it came to pass when the King Jeroboam had the saying of this man of God who cried against the altar in Bethel. You know what Jeroboam did? The Bible says he stretched his hand out of his hand from the altar and said, arrest him. He said, arrest the, the prophet. Nobody can arrest you. Instead, the forces of darkness that are assigned against you, assigned against your marriage, assigned against your health, instead, it is them that will be arrested in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, the powers of darkness, you will be arrested. You forces of darkness, you will be arrested. The Holy Ghost power will arrest them in the name of Jesus. They will be arrested from their covenant in the name of Jesus. The fire of God will roast them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As he stretched out his hand and said, arrest the young prophet. Let's see what happened. Oh, glory. This is exciting. Amen. As he stretched out his hand and said, arrest him, his hand, which is stretched out, withered. His hand withered. May every evil hand, the hand of wizards, the hand of occultists, the hand of the wicked that is stretched out against you, stretched out against your children. May every evil hand stretched out against Triumphant Church International. May their evil hand wither. May their evil hand wither. May their evil hand dry up. Every evil hand that has been stretched against you, I command it to wither. Shout a loud amen. Shout a loud amen. Shout a loud amen. Their evil hand against your finances. You are walking and you cannot see any Anything. You cannot see any result. Let their evil hand be withered. In the name of Jesus, their evil hand that is stretched against your job, stretched against you, causing delay in marriage, may their evil hand wither. May it wither. May it wither. May it wither. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Amen. You will hear testimonies. 
you will hear testimonies because evil must bow before good. Praise God. And when he said, arrest him, his hand with her. And then immediately, as the man of God said, the altar was split apart and the ashes were poured out from the altar according to the sign which the man of God has given by the word of the Lord. Then the king answered and said to the man of God, please entreat the favor of the Lord your God and pray for me that my hand will be restored to me. So the man of God entreated the Lord and the king's hand was restored to him and he became as before. Then the king said, come home with me and refresh yourself. I will give you a reward. That's where many people fall. When somebody has shown you that they are wicked against you and God delivers you, you still carry yourself back there. Praise God. And you carry yourself. You know, I don't know how some of us think. Praise God. You carry yourself back. You may not have a second chance. Praise God. You may not have a second chance. When God shows you the wickedness of some people around you, don't carry yourself back. Forgive them, but keep them, relate with them from far. Somebody say, relate with them from afar. Say it again, I will relate with them from afar. I will be wise. The Bible says, the king said, follow me, come to my house. Let's go and eat to show that you have restored me. Listen to what the man of God said. So the man of God entreated the Lord and the king's hands was restored to him and became as before. Then the king said to the man of God, come home with me and refresh yourself. I will give you a reward. But the man of God said to the king, if you were to give me half of your house, I will not go with you to your house. Neither will I eat bread <laughs> or drink water in your house. For so God commanded me by the word of the Lord saying, you shall not eat bread nor drink water nor return by the same way. God said, even when you are returning, because there is a spirit of vengeance. There is a spirit of the avenger. Amen. The Bible. Let's go quickly to, to the scriptures. Let's go to Psalm. Hallelujah. Let me show you something quickly. And we're going to start praying in three minutes. Praise God. Let's go to the book of Psalm, verse 8, eight chapter 8. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Chapter 8 and verse 2. Psalm chapter 8, verse 2 says, Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants you shall ordain strength because of your enemies so that you may silence the enemy and the avenger so that you will silence the enemy and silence the avenger a lot of us silence the enemy but we don't silence the avenger you need to silence the avenger Thank you, Beverly, for joining me. God bless you abundantly. Good to see you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we silence the enemy and we silence the avenger. Many times you don't silence the avenger. When you have wounded the enemy, he comes back to take vengeance. So every time, listen to me, every time you go into spiritual warfare, before you rise up from your feet, say, I take authority over the spirit of the avenger. They are different. It is the same devil, but manifesting in two different ways. Manifesting as uh, uh, the enemy and also manifesting as the avenger. Praise God. So he said to him, come with me, let's go. The guy said, no way, I'm not going with you. God said I shouldn't eat. God said even when I go back, I should take another road from the way that I came so that the avenger cannot get me. But let me read this quickly. Oh, this is so sad. Verse, verse, verse 9. I hope you're with your Bible. First Kings chapter 13, verse 9. For so it was commanded me by the word of the Lord, saying, you shall not eat bread, nor drink water, nor return by the same way you came. So he went another way and did not return by the way he came to Bethel. Now an old prophet dwelt in Bethel and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. They also told their father the words which this uh, man of God has spoken to the king. And their father said to them, which way did he go? 
his son has seen which way the man of God went, who came from Judah. Then he said to his sons, saddle an ox for me and a donkey for me. So he saddled the donkey for him. He rode on it and went after the man of God and found him sitting under an oak. Then he said to him, are you the man of God who came from Judah? He said, I am. Then he said to him, come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I cannot return with you, nor go with you. Neither can I eat bread, nor drink water with you in this place. For I have been told by the word of the Lord, you shall not eat bread, nor drink water there, nor return by going the same way you came. The man, this old prophet said to him, I am also a prophet as you are. And an angel spoke to me. <laughs> hey, oh God. An angel spoke to me. Hallelujah. Let me get that. Where is the verse? Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. And went after the man of God and found him sitting under an oak. And he said, are you the man of God who came from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said unto him, come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I cannot return with you nor go with you. Neither can I eat the bread nor drink water with you in this place. For I have been told by the word of the Lord. Hmm. You shall not eat bread, nor drink water there, nor return by the going the same way you came. He said to him, I am also a prophet now. <laughs> and an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord saying, bring him back with you to your house so that he will eat bread and drink water. The Bible says in bracket, he was lying to him. So this young prophet went back with him and ate bread in his house and drank water. Now it happened as they sat at table that the word of the Lord came to the prophet who had brought him back and he cried out to the man of God who came from Judah saying, now the old prophet received the word from the Lord and said, thus said the Lord, because you have disobeyed the word of the Lord and you have not kept the commandment which the Lord your God commanded you, but you came back, ate bread and drank water. Chai, God, from the place of which the Lord said to you, eat no bread, drink no water, now your corpse shall not come to the tomb of your fathers. And so it was after he has eaten bread and after he has drunk and he saddled the donkey, the prophet whom he had brought back, when he was gone, a lion met him on the road and killed him. You can read the whole story. Because of time, I will stop there. We want to pray. Praise God. I want you to begin to pray in the spirit. This is such an amazing story from the scriptures. Let's begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Mashe Karababa, Nege Brohantos Keprahades, Nezoga Mama Shete Tede Ye coparinda ruprehendos, ye capalenda somprehendo librades, ye gazon tala la mama, ye coso cacapa, ye cate librados, ne gazon talibrahandesa, me cacatali maroski tayanda, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. First of all, I want us to pray. Like every altar, the Bible says, Jeroboam set up an evil altar. I want you to pray right now. Every evil altar that has been set up against you and your family, let it burn with the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Every evil altar in the name of Jesus that has been set up against you, I command the fire of God. Every evil altar that has been set up against your family, I command the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, burn that evil altar, burn that evil altar burn that evil altar in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let it be shattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ somebody shout amen Kisha thank you for joining us I see you there God bless you for joining us amen praise God now the Bible says there were priests that Jeroboam employed to walk in that altar. You are going to pray against the priests and the priestesses that are serving in the altars of witchcraft, altars of sorcery, altars of demonism, where your name is being mentioned. Now, you might be saying, but I don't know whether they are mentioning my name. Oh, I don't have enemies. Oh, I have not done anything. My question, like I asked on Wednesday, what did Jesus do before 
before uh, uh, Judas Iscariot betrayed him. He did nothing. You don't have to do anything for them to take your name to an altar. You don't have to weak, do anything to somebody. The fact that you are living your life happily, it can make them take you to an altar. They promoted you. They didn't promote them. It can make them take you to an altar. The fact that that man married you, didn't marry them. It can make them take you to an altar. Your husband is rejoicing with you. People will hate you for that because they are not experiencing the same. They can take you to an altar. Your child is doing well. People will look at you. Why is it your child, not my child? They can take you to an altar. You are getting promotion. They are not getting promotion. They can take you to an altar. So don't ask tonight why uh, nobody, don't say tonight, nobody hates me. Nobody can take me to an altar. It will be unwise to do that. I want you to pray. Every priest, say with me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every priest, every priestess, that is serving in any altar, walking against me, doing mysterious things against my family. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, let those priests and those priestesses, let them be arrested, let them be arrested, let them be arrested, let them be arrested in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every priest and priestess that is serving in any demonic altar, serving in altars of witchcraft, and they are walking mysterious things against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight they meet their Waterloo. Every priest and priestess serving in altars and you are working against Triumphant Church International. You are working mysterious things against the vision of Triumphant Church International. Tonight you meet your Waterloo. We send the fire of the Holy Ghost against your priests and priestesses in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We chain you in the name of Jesus. We chain you with the chain of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Mando Kasiri Baba Mega Zunda Lema Zontenere Negaria Kataya Nekare Barenda Sokeke Bashuda Yeko Sokeke Mando Nede Nekori Kabashuda Every priest and priestess that is walking in altars of sorcery, walking in den of magic. Migaduski Kayandosa that are working against you, working against your health. There are some of you that are suffering mysterious sicknesses because your name has been placed in these altars. Every priest that is the one making incantations, making enchantments in those altars against you tonight, in the name of Jesus, we say, Let them be arrested, my God and my Father in heaven release your angels let them go on assignment makita likaturia let the angels of god go on assignment arrest them arrest those evil priests arrest the priestesses that are serving in those altars chain them let them be chained with the chain of the holy ghost let them be chained in the name of jesus somebody shout amen the Bible says Jeroboam employed priests and priestesses to serve in those evil altars. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says he ordained a feast for the children of Israel. Hallelujah. And offered sacrifices on those altars and burnt incense. He offered sacrifices on those altars and burnt incense. You are going to pray. And I want you to be specific. We have time. We're not rushing. Amen. Wherever we end today, we we'll continue again. Praise God the next time. Amen. He said he burnt sacrifices. Hallelujah. And he offered a feast. <laughs> Once upon a time. Somebody from our church, no more in the church. You know, sometimes people will say, why do you have structures? I will tell you why it is important to be strict and why it is important to put structures in a church and in your home. This person went to the children's department three years ago and requested that they wanted food to be served to the children. 
they brought it, you know, they want to do party, not children's party. They just want to bless the children. And one of the teachers said, have you asked Pastor Marge before bringing food? Go and ask Pastor Marge. The person never came to ask Pastor Marge. After church, that sister asked me and said, Unique Vessels, thank you for joining us. God bless you. And said, Pastor Mercy, thank you for joining us. The Lord bless you. I see you there. Glory, hallelujah. The person said, did so and so person come to meet you to obtain permission to bring food to the children at church? I said, no. And I forgot about it because, I mean, the person never came to me, so I didn't bother. Praise God. Months after, months after, we found out they came by themselves. By error, the information came out by default. They had visited a prophet somewhere in Africa who told them to kill goats. Children of God coming to church. That's why some of you, you eat in every feast. When they want to get you, they want to gossip, they call you, invite you, and begin to give you food. And you forget everything about yourself and you start eating. They told them, do sacrifice, give, send money for good. People come into church. Amen. And they also instructed them, go and give children food. Go and give children food. And they wanted to come and try it in triumphant church. Now, some of you say, ah, this church, it is military camp. Now you understand why it is military camp. If we are a church where you just go and do what you like, that food would have entered the children's church and we would have started destroying altars. But the person said, go and ask Pastor March. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Our God is faithful. So we are going to pray. Every altar, not in TCI, God forbid. The Spirit of God is moving in Triumphant Church International. He lifted up a standard against them and they could not perform their wicked enterprise. Praise God. Now, it's, oh, the pastor is too strict. Now you understand why the pastor is too strict. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray every demonic altar where they have set up food for you. Every demonic altar where they are setting up food to, to conjure your name, to conjure against your family, send fire. Elijah sent fire from heaven. Pray and say, Father, like you did it in the days of Elijah, send fire against every demonic altar. Send fire against every satanic altar. Send fire against every altar where my family name is being mentioned. Where the names of my children, their education is being mentioned. Wherever they are conjuring your name and they have put sacrifices. Mandokoseya. Send Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Burn that altar. Consume every altar where the name of Triumphant Church International is being mentioned. Let the fire of God fall from heaven. Consume that altar. Destroy that altar in the name of Jesus. My God, we set it ablaze. Every altar of wickedness, every altar of wizardry, every altar of sorcery, let fire fall from heaven and consume it. Let fire fall from heaven. Destroy it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever your spirit is being conjured. Every altar where your spirit is being conjured. Where your marriage is being manipulated. Every altar where your career is being manipulated. You've been working nothing to show for it. We send fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire, Holy Ghost fire, consume it in the name of Jesus. Let the people of God shout amen and amen. Shout amen. Praise God. We are still praying, but I'm going to take one minute and I'm going to make an announcement. Don't go anywhere. We still have a lot of prayer points to pray. Glory. Hallelujah. Brother, uh, Brother Femi, can you please put for me? the women's conference flyer glory don't move an inch don't touch that phone don't touch your dial don't touch anything amen please 
we are inviting you to be a part of the Wisdom for Women conference. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are inviting you to be a part of the prophetic sound, the Deborah anointing. Praise God. Hallelujah. November the 12th, which is Friday, we start 6.30 p.m. And then Saturday morning, we start at 9.30 a.m. There are break times. Saturday daytime is a time for leadership training, business training, ministry training. You will learn things that you have never really ever thought about. A lot of women are dealing with the alpha male. How did these successful women in their career and in ministry, how did we manipulate ourselves by the power of God to come out? How, I mean, any woman who wants to go anywhere must understand the strategies of the double bind. You must be able to walk yourself around the double bind. Hallelujah. We'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about loneliness in ministry. We'll be talking about reverse me uh, mentoring. There will be a session of mentoring and coaching by these powerful women of God. We have um, uh, prophetess Francina Norman. We have Pastor Blessing Ibu. Bukun, Awoshika, we have Bishop Man Wanjiru, we have Emma Sargent, we have Buki Smith, all these are renowned women of God, they will share strategies, we will have time for question and answers, amen, live, amen, we have Dion Gravesandi, we have Caroline Marsh, we have Ononuju Iruku, uh, um, Pastor Eve Maloba, we have Ebere Akadiri, we have Martina Mo. You don't want to miss it. Please go to Wisdom for Women International.org and register. The early bed rate was meant to end in on Sunday, but we have extended it. Amen. The website is scrolling. We've extended it to Wednesday. Do your best and invest in yourself. Don't let anybody talk you out of this. Amen. When you want to grow, you talk to women that are growing and women that have grown. They will impart into our lives. The evening sessions are impartation sessions. We're going to have Bishop Wanjiru. Hallelujah. My God, that woman. And we are going to have Prophetess Francina Norman in the evening sessions. It will be time of impartation and anointing. It's online, but I tell you, the power of God will flow. So I want to encourage you, go to wisdomforwomeninternational.org and be a part of this conference. We only have two weeks, amen, to go. So we want to encourage every one of us. If you, if you can even afford to get for somebody, I mean, I have somebody who has been able to pay for some people, praise God. So if you can afford to get somebody else in, please do so. And the good Lord of heaven, he will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Thank you, Brother Femi. Praise the Lord. We can continue to pray. Amen. Are you being blessed, saints of God? Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let's pray in the spirit. Mara Baba. Nego ziki kayanda ne marukataya. Ne koria my shanta la da da da. Eko so kari barenda so ke prehedos. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says, First Kings chapter 13, hallelujah, from verse 1. Behold a man of God, because of that altar that King Jeroboam had created. If you don't know King Jeroboam, you need to go back to the beginning and find out who he is. Behold a man of God went from Judah to Bethel by the word of the Lord. Amen. And Jeroboam stood by the altar that he had created and he was burning incense. Then this man of God cried against the altar by the word of the Lord and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, hallelujah, thus saith the Lord, the altar, O altar, he said, the priests that are serving in this altar, their bones will be burnt here. I want you right now, you are going to lift up your voice, you are going to say, altar, O altar. You are going to pray. If you're sitting down and you're feeling tired, you better get up and, and pace around the house. The, your first altar you are going to speak against is the altar that is against speaking against your destiny. Remember that he said, 
O altar. Altars here. Somebody say with me. Altars here. And altars speak. Altars speak. Amen. Amen. You want to hear more about that? Go to my teaching on Wednesday. Altars here and altars speak. So now you will speak to that altar that is trying to reverse your destiny and reverse the destiny of your family. That altar that is trying to reverse the altar of your children, reverse it away from the original plan of God. Speak to it, call it, O oh, altar, O oh, altar, that is trying to reverse my destiny. You altar that is trying to reverse the altar of my children, that is trying to reverse the altar of my life, that is trying to reverse the altar of my grandchildren. Tonight, I cry against you. Lift up your voice and begin to cry. Oh, altar, every altar that is assigned to reverse your destiny, every altar, Macandosia, every altar that is assigned to reverse and alter the destiny of your family, every altar that is assigned uh, to reverse and alter the destiny of your children and the destiny of your children's children, every altar that is assigned in the name of Jesus to alter the destiny of your marriage, to alter the destiny of your career. I cry against that altar. We cry against that altar. We cry against that altar. Mendo kosia mama. Ne kori bananda suki kabrehedosa. Ne gazunta lebrehedosa. Every altar that is crying against your destiny, that is opposing and resisting your forward movement in the name of Jesus saints of God cry out against the altar children of God cry out <coughs> against the altar we cry out against every altar that is resisting our family every altar that is resisting your career we cry out against it the prophet cried out against the altar altar or oh altar hear the word of the Lord Order. Altar, O oh altar, hear the word of the Lord. Altar, O oh altar, hear the word of the Lord. Mando kasiya mama ne koka bados kinta ya ne gezuke te ya baba. Every altar that is assigned against Triumphant Church International, we cry out against you. Cry out, saints of God, against the altars of sorcery. Cry out against the altars of magicians. Cry out against the altars of wizardry cry out against the altars of witchcraft we cry out against every altar of witchcraft that is against the saints that is a walking against the saints that is walking against your family in the name of jesus ha. thank you jesus hallelujah we are still praying. Hallelujah. Don't forget to invite somebody. Praise the Lord. Welcome, Pastor Joy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Princess, for joining us. And thank you, Pauline, for joining us as well. God bless you. Amen. Make sure you invite somebody. I see most of my friends and people are coming in. May God bless you for coming to pray with us. Yes, thank you, Princess, for joining us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Remember altars here and altars speak. Altars here and altars speak. So you are going to cry out. This man cried out against the altar. He said, thus saith the Lord. You will speak and cry out right now against every altar that is speaking death. You see some altars sit and they cry for blood. In this October, in this 2021, you are going to cry out against every altar that is crying out for blood, crying out for the blood of your family. Every altar that is crying out for the blood of members of Triumphant Church International, we will speak to those altars and we will say, Altar, O oh altar, Mande Kosia, Nege Zunte, hear the word of the Lord. We will silence that altar. It will not be able to cry out for blood. It will not see your blood. Your blood will not be shed. Do I have some intercessors on this platform? Lift up your voices. Begin to 
cry out against the altars that are crying out for blood. Every altar that is crying out for my blood, every altar crying out for the blood of Pastor Clemens Somerway, every altar that is crying out for the altar, the blood of our family members. Hey, we say to you, altar or oh altar, hear the word of the Lord. You will not receive blood in this season. You will not see our blood in the name of Jesus. I cry out to every altar that is crying out for the blood of members of Triumphant Church International in the name of Jesus. We say altar or oh altar. Makoria my shetete. In the name of Jesus, you will not receive our blood. Makoria my shetete. Every altar crying out for the, 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 the blood of your children. Every altar crying out for the blood of our church members. We silence you by the blood of Jesus. We say altar or oh altar. Hear the voice of the Lord. You will not receive blood. My God, people of God, do I have intercessors? Base around the house. Pray in the name of Jesus. Silence the evil altar. It will not receive blood. Man de kori mama. Ne kori amai shata ye de de. Ye ko siki ki mando rebasiya. Ne ko kabados kita ya. Ye ko siki ki ya mama. We silence it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We are still praying. Saints of God, you will give me a bit of time. We are going to extend the time. Praise God. We are still praying. Mm -hmm. There are some altars that are crying out shame to you. They want you to be disgraced. They want you to see reproach. They want you to put your hand on your head and cry out, where is my God? Any altar that is orchestrating anything, any altar that is... <coughs> manipulating anything, excuse me. Any altar from hell that is cooking something <laughs> to bring you shame, to bring you to the place where you raise your hand and put on your head and say, where is my God? You will silence that altar. You will not in this year 2021 and beyond Put your hand on your head and say, God, where is my God? Anything that will bring you shame. Hey, we silence that altar. Saints of God, the young prophet said, altar, or oh, altar, because altar's here. Open your mouth and cry out, altar, or oh, altar. You will not bring shame to my family. Every altar walking shame. Mark and Tony Baba. Every altar walking disgrace for your house to be repossessed. For you to not be able to pay your rent. For you not to be able to pay your school fees or your children's school fees. Every altar that wants to degrade you and bring you reproach, I cry out to that altar, silence, silence. I cry out to that altar. You will burn to ashes. Let every altar that is walking reproach, every altar that is walking shame, every altar that is walking disgrace, I command them burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. If you are filled with the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, begin to pray in the Spirit. Makari Brahandosa. Negozigi gabandele mazunte, ne kori kaba, ye kose ke keria my shuria, ye kose ke keprahandosa, wherever they are plotting and chanting to bring you reproach, to bring you disgrace, to bring down your head. I say altar or oh, altar of reproach, altar or oh, altar of shame, altar or oh, altar of disgrace. Burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Makados Kintayande, Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, those altars are silenced and they will never speak. In the name of Jesus, type on the platform right now, every altar of shame, burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Type it on the platform. If you believe it, type it so that the air will hear it. The heavens will hear it. Hell will hear it. 
Type it right now. I'm waiting for you. Altar of shame, be consumed. Altar of disgrace, be consumed. In the name of Jesus. Don't just say amen. Write it, O altar of disgrace. You are consumed in the fire of God. When a man of God, a prophet, gives an instruction, always follow through. Amen. Right on the platform. Altar of shame. I burn you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Altar of disgrace. Be condemned in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Mondell, for joining us. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to take one prayer point. Like I said, wherever we stop today, we stop and we can always continue. Glory to Jesus. It's not too late to invite a friend. It's not too late to bring somebody in. We have just a few minutes, five minutes to go. But even in this five minutes, God can do exceedingly and abundantly. While you are typing that, Brother Femi, can you put the church program on Sunday on the platform for me? Praise God. Hallelujah. Perilous times. We need spiritual, physical, psychological, marital, and financial healing. This Sunday, 31st October 2021, let healing flow. Guest Minister, Pastor Samuel Orsergay of Believers Ministry, Inc., Benin City, Nigeria. One of the largest ministries in the city. He is greatly used of God in the area of healing. Come with your families and invite your friends to worship with us on site to receive healing from God through a man of God anointed to heal all forms of issues. Time and date, 11 a.m. BST, Sunday, 31st October, 2021. Call 0208-800-6001 for further information or email admin at triumphant.org.uk. Let healing flow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We invite you to our Sunday service on site. 136 West Green Road, hallelujah. Please join us 11 a.m. And the good Lord, he will bless you in the name of Jesus. Don't forget 11 a.m. on Sunday. We want you and your family to be there. And don't come alone. Come with friends and family. God bless you. Thank you very much, Brother Le uh, brother Femi. We are going to take one more prayer point before we go tonight. Hallelujah. Every altar of shame is burning. Every altar that is crying out for your shame to bring you disgrace, to cause things that will happen that will make you to put your head down. We cry against those altars in the name of Jesus and burn them with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says after the young prophet prophesied, the king Jeroboam stretched out his hand and said, arrest him. It was a spirit of the avenger. He wanted to take vengeance because the prophet prayed against the altar. <laughs> You are going to rise up to your feet. You are going to take authority over every altar. Some of you are suffering because of altars that you have prayed about that are taking vengeance. They always take vengeance. They will always be angry. But God is greater. Say with me, my God is greater. In the name of Jesus, I want you to lift up your voice. Please. Listen to my instruction. Pray in your understanding and pray in tongues. Don't just pray in tongues. Pray in your understanding and pray in tongues. Call it by name. You spirit of the avenger. You spirit of the avenger. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. Amen. You will not touch my family. You will not touch me. You will not touch my spirit. You will not touch my soul. You will not touch my body. You will not touch Triumphant Church International. Are we ready to pray? Hallelujah. Begin to take authority over the avenger in whatever form he wants to come. When it comes one way, he will disperse in seven ways. Lift up your voice, saints of God. Do I have intercessors in this house. Begin to pray against the avenger. Every spirit that wants to arrest you because you have, you have, you have 
cast to the altar of wickedness. Therefore, tonight, I stand in agreement with everyone that is watching. I am a masheketate. Everyone that is a part of this prayer meeting, I stand in agreement with you. Every spirit of the avenger, every spirit from hell that wants to take vengeance because we have destroyed their altar, you avengers, we bind you in the name of Jesus. You avenger, we bind you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of the avenger, we bind you with chains, we bind you with fetters, we render you powerless, we incapacitate you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the avenger coming against us because of our prayers tonight, we bind you and we resist you. We make your powers null and void by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. You will not touch anyone that hears the sound of my voice. You will not touch their children. You will not touch their husbands. You will not touch their wives. You will not touch their friends. You will not touch their business. You avenger, we bind you in the name of Jesus. You will not touch their ministry. You will not touch them in the name of Jesus. Every avenger, we resist you by the blood. By the blood of Jesus, we push you back. When the enemy shall come against us to eat up our flesh, you will stumble and you will fall. You avenger, you will stumble. You will fall. I soak everyone that has been a part of this prayer service in the blood of Jesus. We surround you with the blood, the precious blood, the blood of the everlasting covenant. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and believed. Let the saints of God shout amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I see you, Sister Caroline. Caroline Marsh, thank you for joining us. May God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I have a few announcements. Please don't move. Listen to the announcement before you go. And we are going to take an offering. Amen. We are going to receive an offering. I don't believe that this is one of those services that you just come and jump off. Anyone who is wise will sow at this time. Praise God. So that altar of God will speak against the altar of Jeroboam in the name of Jesus. Brother Femi, please put on the platform for me the women's conference flyer. Let me remind the saints of God, please continue to pray towards the conference and God of heaven, he will bless you as you pray. If you are not yet registered, I want to invite you to join this online prophetic conference. Hallelujah. It is a conference of transformation where God will transform you. Hallelujah. It's November the 12th, Friday, November the 12th, and Saturday, November the 13th. Friday is 6.30 p.m. We start. Amen. It's online. is on Zoom. And Saturday, we start 9.30 a.m. for the daytime sessions. The daytime sessions will be handled by Pastor Ibuku Awoshika. Most of you know her. She's a great mentor. She used to be the just past chairman of First Bank of Nigeria. How did a woman get to that level? She will be sharing some strategies. You are going higher and you need the strategies that these women have obtained through the years. She will be ministering, hallelujah. Bev, uh, sorry, Emma Sargent is the president of DAS Group of Companies, hallelujah, in the whole of Europe. She will be there, an, an experienced woman as well. They will be there. These are women that are riding on the top. Buki Smith, my dear Buki, she will be there as well. Buki is the chief executive managing director of FSDH Merchant Bank. Amen. How did they get there? How have they sustained themselves as women of God in that level? You need the strategies. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, I don't need it. I'll just manage myself. You know, sometimes somebody will just tell you one thing. And it will kickstart you. Praise God. We have Dion. Dion is in charge of strategies at, uh, at, uh, uh, at um, oh my God, at um, 
Christian aid. Thank you. Praise God. She will be there. Our dear sister Caroline Marsh of the uh, ITV Secret Melonia fame. Is it Channel 4? Secret Melonia fame will be there. Ononuju is a senior person in a, in, 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 a, in, in a bank. She will be there. Pastor Eve Maloba will be there. Um, Ebere Akadiri, a, a strategist in leadership, she will be there. Martina Moore, a strategist in marketing, she will be there. These women will be there. I have not mentioned Prophetess Francina Norman and Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. They are taking care of the evening sessions. Praise God, you don't want to miss those evening sessions. There will be time of impartation. Hallelujah. Of course, your dear Pastor Marge will also be there. I will be ministering as well. Ministering in worship will be our dear sister, Sister Abigail Masenga, who has so graciously offered herself, herself and her husband will be ministering at this conference. Go online, wisdomforwomeninternational.org and register. Praise God. The early bed rate closes on Sunday, but because some of you are just hearing, I have extended early bed rate to Wednesday. Invest in yourself. This is a conference that will be life-changing, life-transformational. Praise God. I want you to invest in yourself. And if you can afford it, pay for somebody else to be a part of it. And that person will be indebted to you for what you have done for them. Glory to Jesus. My God and my God, it is time for us to take our offering and our tithes. Praise God. Amen. Sunday service is 11 a.m. You don't want to miss it. Please help me put the details for our offering. I want you to sow as the Lord lays in your heart. There are two ways you can give. You can give directly to the Barclays Bank account, which is on the screen right now. Amen. Amen. Or you can go online to the church website, triumphant.org.uk. Click on donate and you will be able to give. All the details are there. I will give you a moment to pick up your device <clears throat> and to give. Amen. Many times we want to. Sister Julie Unaka, thank you for joining us. I see you there. God bless you. Thank you for joining the service. May God honor you. Hallelujah. Sister Shelley, it's been a long time. God bless you. Good to see you. Thank you for joining the service. God bless you. Praise God. Amen and amen. So let's give to the Lord. Pick up your device. Many times we say, I'll do it later and we forget. So I give you one moment to do this. Take your, uh, your device, your purse. And let us give to the Lord at this time. You can give online, triumphant.org.uk, or you can go to our Barclays Bank account and give directly. The good Lord of heaven, he will bless you abundantly. It's not too late to share this, this link. Send it to somebody. Bless you, Sister Shelley. It's been a while. May God bless you. Good to see you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? Amen. Our Father and our God, we bless your holy name. Father, we thank you because you have been good to us. We thank you because our spirit, soul, and body is covered in the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you have been with us from the beginning of this service, and you will continue to be with us. As your children have given, Lord, open the heavens over everyone. May your sons and your daughters persistently and consistently remain under an open heaven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. We're going to say the grace in fellowship. One more announcement, sorry. Sunday, 5 p.m., our children will be on Zoom for Hallelujah Party. Please dress them up. Prepare them for the hallelujah party. Put drinks and snacks before them, and we will try to give them a wonderful party on Zoom. This Sunday, the time is 5 p.m. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Praise God. So please join the, the Zoom. Make sure your children join the Zoom on Sunday. Praise God. Let us say the grace together in fellowship. Hallelujah. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, 
rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely your goodness and your mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Shalom. God bless you. Please give us a bit of worship. Let's celebrate our offering before we close. God bless you, saints. Of there is power, there is power in your name. Sorry about that. We don't know what happened. I think there's a bit of an issue there, but we thank you so very much for joining us in worship. May God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Apologies. Pastor Clem sends his love and his prayers. Have a wonderful time. Amen. God bless you. I don't know if media is coming in again, but um, okay. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God.